Helltalk.com, ABM software, or its advertisers. Was that the disclaimer, Boaz? I only heard half of it. Yesterday, the band didn't want to play. Today, uh, Karen didn't want to read the entire disclaimer. <laughs> What's going on? Are, are people uh, too busy uh, getting into the holiday spirits a little early? Welcome to News Talk Online. News Talk Online is a production of Paltalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on my site, GaryBaumgarten.com, uh, where you can uh, post your comments whether you agree with yours truly or not. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio. We're syndicated across the United States into 12 million additional households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. Welcome to the show. We have two great guests today. A little later, Gary Moskowitz, the counterterrorism expert who joins us uh, when uh, his kids uh, shut up long enough for him to talk on the phone. He's good at fighting the uh, terrorists, but not the two and three years old in his household. Uh, but he will be here to talk uh, some serious business a little later about uh, the fact that there's concern that the Obama administration will be challenged early on uh, by terrorists. And will that administration be ready or not? But first, I'm very pleased to uh, introduce to you Tobias Buckel. I hope I'm pronouncing your surname properly. He's the author of the latest novel in the New York Times best-selling Halo series. It's the sixth in a series based on the Halo video game. And there's an unabridged audio book for those of you who uh, have trouble reading. <laughs> you can listen to it as you're uh, driving, I guess. Um, a lot of you don't know if you're... 22 years old, you probably don't, but if you're 21 and younger, you probably do, I'm guessing, that Halo is like the best-selling game going right now. It's an Xbox series, and uh, I've seen games made out of books and movies and movies made out of books, but uh, Tobias, I have never heard of a book that was based on a video game, it has got to be extremely challenging to do that. Well, it's interesting. Uh, but, you know, making a popular video game like Halo is a case of having to, to create a universe that's expansive enough that it's supported three different video games and has two more coming out. And so the people who created it have, have created an expansive universe. And so what you get to do is go and flesh that out some more uh, outside of where the games have been, been showing, showing you the, the player. And that's really fun and exciting, particularly if you do enjoy the video game, like I do. I'm actually a player of it. Don't, don't limit yourself to those who enjoy the video game, because I'll tell you right now, I have trouble with uh, Pac-Man. You know, much less uh, something like Halo and Xbox, but the Cole Protocol uh, is a great read. And I'm talking from the standpoint of somebody who's never looked at the game. I've seen screenshots of it now. Uh, I'll never play the game, I promise you that. But it's really very interesting. It's about the future, of course, and it's about mm -hmm. the United Nations Space Command trying to uh, protect Earth and uh, earthlings who have populated uh, inner and outer and outer outer space uh, from uh, aliens that, who want to uh, glass them and their planets over. Um, and it's interesting because um, you take some things that are happening right now in real life and you project to the future. Uh, because when there's strife in on this planet, when I say in the world right now, of course, I'm referring to this planet, uh, people right. are displaced, and uh, yeah. it becomes a problem. You have refugees all over the place, and you have the United Nations both trying to protect the refugees and find them another place to live and make sure that they have enough food. Uh, and it's interesting that the Earthlings are being protected by the United Nations uh, centuries in the future in the Cole Protocol. Well, uh the uh, games themselves set up the United Nations uh, 
you know, uh, as a, a larger government that develops as we go, if, as we become a space-faring society and, and face the covenant. But uh, you know, there are fractures. There are companies. There are insurrectionists who are sort of rebels who don't like the UNSC and live out, you know, on the outer colonies. And as you know, people get further away from the center of power, they tend to sort of develop their own identity. And as these aliens have swept past them, they've gotten, you know, stuck behind enemy lines and. You know, in any society, when, when there's an invading force nearing, it creates a lot of chaos. And so that's one of the things I did want to show in the Cold Protocol. Uh, some of the earlier chapters show that, you know, as farming planets get taken offline by these nasty aliens, you lose the ability to feed, and so you get these refugees, and you have to take... Uh, I remember in World War II, there were these things called victory gardens. So you see those pop up in this novel where huge public parks are turned into garden centers, and so forth, you know, turned into farms in order for people to be able to eat. So yeah, I, I definitely was trying to show some of the uh, some of those side effects of war. You know, when you do write a military SF adventure novel, it tends to be a lot of you know hoo ah and you know blow stuff up, uh, which is great and fine, and I, I do a lot of that. But it was sort of I really wanted to portray sort of a, a full spectrum of how these things affect lots of different people. What's real interesting about uh, the kids, uh, including uh, mine, who uh, my son, who's 21, and he enjoys uh, these kinds of games. Uh, they they they're kind of intellectual, and um, and and it's more than just uh, shoot 'em up, bang bang. There's a lot of strategy involved, and there's a lot of uh, discussion that he and his friends have uh, about city states. I mean, going back to uh, to to uh, what the, uh, the the Greeks and the Romans did, leading up to the kinds of uh, governments that we have today, and then projecting science fiction to the future. And I read a lot of that. I could see a lot of that subtext uh, throughout uh, the Cold Protocol. Now, let me just ask you a personal question, because as I researched this mm -hmm. book, I learned that not only does the, uh, the, the, do the Halo games have a, a huge cultish following, but so does Tobias. Uh, you were ill, and 